right after my witch's moon unboxing so if you haven't seen that yet go check it out after this video of course but i am here don't like my shirt i got it from michael's actually my mama got it for me so thanks mom love it i wear it all the time but the witch's box so it's very light this um this month and that might be because Elena stopped doing the jars, but it is for the better of the planet. And sorry, there's a plane flying over me. But um, so I'm I'm actually in the backyard of my current Airbnb right now, which is not which is why oh my god, there's like a million mosquito hawks. Um, but which is why it's not my normal filming style. If you haven't seen my previous, I kind of explained that a little bit. But there's not not really a pretty background for me to shoot in front of in the Airbnb. So I'm very sorry that it's loud and annoying, and I hope it's not overbearingly so. So please bear with me. This is not how I usually film my videos. So do not worry if you don't like this. I almost feel like I have to stop because everybody around me seems to want to do their yard work right now. But I'm not going to because it's beautifully lit and I'm getting it done. I want to get it out there. Which is box. <laughs> so very, very excited. This is like one of my favorite boxes. Last month's box stole my heart also. Like dude, last month was just an amazing month for boxes, let me say. Just everything in, in there was packed with so much quality and just, it was amazing. And the deep dive last month for the witches box was the longest that they ever had. And that obviously the longest that I've experienced. And it was super in depth. There was a lot more people there last month. So it was really fun. Like I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna try not to dump everything out. Okay, good. So here's our opening. Oh no, I ripped it. Is it different this month? Is it usually black? I feel like it's usually like blue. Oh my god, what a fail. I'm trying to do this so y'all can see, but it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna end up having to rip it all. Sad, sad, sad. Okay. Here we go. So, open so you can see. I know I like seeing that. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. So here we have our little pack. Our like pamphlet. And what is this? Like, y'all, what the heck? This paper is looking oddly familiar. Look at that beautiful paper, parchment parchment paper so pretty spring spring is in the air now i guess it would say love is in the air i got that was ridiculous of me to say spring is here and it's amazing oh look at these look i'm loving the flower vibes so far in my boxes i'm obsessed with flowers i have spring fever like crazy what, what are these like cute little cute little cards flower pressed paper in this cute little paper clip. Look at that. Adorable. So that's unusual. They don't usually usually put their stuff together like that. So here is our oracle. I'm holding it upside down. The hangman. So there. That is, this is like the same deck that they've been doing for the past few months. So hangman. That's hmm. Okay, okay. You kind of, I can kind of feel that, those vibes right now. So, the witch's box, March 2020 spiritual fertility box. So she said that in her, in her deep dive, like our little sneak peek of what was gonna be there. And very cool. Don't, disclaimer, you're about to get your, what I don't even know what these things are called, but you're about to see, if you don't wanna see what's in here, close your eyes. I'll put this here so y'all can 
go back and read it if you want. I'll probably read it at the very end too because it's not super long. Fertile Life Spell. Love it, love it. Caster, Caster. I forget how to, like, how to, I'm gonna try to pronounce that in just a second, but I feel like I'm gonna look like an idiot. Cascarilla powder? Cascarilla, is that how you pronounce it? Cascarilla powder. Actually, I um, just saw this also on a different place, so. So there's for that. So it's pretty much eggshell powder, or is eggshell powder. Soul transformation. Oh, soul trans transformation. Soul transformation. Oh my god. Soul transformation. Shoal spell. Why is that such a tongue twister for me? I don't know. So very cool. So it comes with a couple of spells this month, which I love because you know I've been practicing for probably like since before my daughter was born so like five years now um I, you know I'm still I still consider myself a new witch and I still love getting that inspiration from others especially others who have such a more like a, a deep knowledge of witchcraft and um <laughs> oh god <laughs> the mosquito hawk just like almost flew into my mouth did y'all see that so I feel like I can like feel it in my mouth still gross all right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's open that up. So is it driving you crazy that you can't see in the box like usual? Let me know, because it would drive me crazy a little bit. I love seeing like the box as it's being opened, but I lost my tripod in our last move. So, wah wah. What is this? This looks almost like it almost looks like chalk in this little thing. Very interesting. We we'll have to read about that because it has me intrigued. So we have our two little halves of an egg, wooden egg. So I'm sure this has to be, it has to do with like a ritual or spell, probably the fertile life spell that was included. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. I'm not even scared of bugs, but when a mosquito hawk flies into my mouth, that's a little irritating. So I don't know if this is, okay. I feel like it's supposed to open because there's some, oh, yep. It is like a little nesting doll. Cute. Oh my, <gasps> because it's a fertile life spell. There's a baby inside of her. How sweet. It's baby seat. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so that was like the sweetest thing. I love that. I'm totally digging this, this, um, that's actually very symbolic considering what's going on in my life right now. I'm not pregnant, but we'll see. Keeps you on the edge. So, super excited. I'm going to, oh, yes. Okay, I've been like hoping to get this in a box because I don't know, maybe it's just because I watched Vampire Diaries, my guilty pleasure, and <laughs> Vervain. Nice big bag of Vervain. Okay, I wanna smell it. Like I don't wanna open this bag because I like when things are like nice and neat and fresh and new, but I'm gonna open it. Y'all also, if you didn't know, go to Target and go to the dollar section because in the dollar section they have a crap ton of little jars. Like they're like these little flower pots that you can buy. You can buy like corks for them, but for a freaking dollar. It's so cool. And then they also have like these um, glass, like decent sized glass jars with like wooden tops on them that like suction. So they're actually like airtight. Go get some. I think those are like three dollars, and then they have some more different things. But I bought my Target out, like for real. I'm put this this bag under here, maybe. Push it this side. So now that's taking me like an hour to open this. Hmm. So that's not what I expected Vervain to smell like. Actually, it smells like um, catnip to me. 
so very cool super excited about my nice big bag i'm going to be putting them in jars for sure because i am going to be revamping my apothecary calendula let's see i love calendula just the color and just the vibrancy of calendula like adds so much fire and spiciness to like any spell bell bottle candle candle jar anything you use it for oh. mm. look at that beautiful I love it oh, I love how like wispy they are too I love it love it all right so I think there is one more thing in here Let's see what it is I think it goes this way what is it Fence is building. I'm sure, my husband is inside, probably staring at me from outside the window, or inside the window, because my daughters have to get up. But I was like, I need to film my unboxings because you lost my tripod. So, couldn't help myself. It's needed to happen. I like not wait once I get my box. All right, let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this honking bottle? Oh my gosh, it has it has a crystal in there. What is it? Reawaken energy mist spray i am like obsessed with aura sprays right now because i would think it was avalon cameron that got me into them because i love when she unboxes sprays and she like sprays them all over herself and she just gets all giggly and cute i love that look at all these like oils and stuff on the top so excited it's just a freaking huge bottle four ounce bottle i'm kind of scared to like shake it because you can see the quartz little quartz in there too Shake it up. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I spray it right in my eyes. Mmm. Oh, it smells like spicy. Mmm. I feel like it definitely has, definitely has some cinnamon but there's also something else yeah all they like okay cinnamon and like some kind of mint possibly let's let's read about it i don't think there's anything um, hopefully she talks about it more maybe i'll ask her on instagram let's see oh my gosh that smells so good <gasps> okay so <clears throat> so this little thing is the cas cascarilla, cascarilla powder. So it's actually in solid form, which is really interesting because I've usually seen it in like loose form, like powdery. Partly solid, partly loose powder. Okay. I was like, this says verbena, verbena, verbena. And I was like, did I say that wrong? Like the whole time? Okay, let's see. I wanna see if they, she talks about, let, let me read this to you. Okay, so fertility, fecundity, fruit, hopefully I said that right, fruitfulness, productiveness, prolificity, and generative. Those words alone as a group are, beautiful, are a beautiful study in what we, what we as spiritual beings have the capacity for. Often when we hear the word fertility, we think about humans reproducing other humans. But in fact, we are creating and producing every second of every day with each and every choice we make and every word we speak. Even dream we have, we speak even for every dream we have and every single time we have to sell, sorry. There are so many layers to this box and we'll cover quite a bit of it when we have our deep dive gathering. But the first focus will be on using sympathetic, sympathetic magic to manifest something in your life out of nothing. This is what we do as witches. We create, we are spiritually fertile in our capacity to weave new realities for ourselves while also trending, tending to the visual manifestation of life in the form of plants. For this, we will use the symbolism of eggs and seeds. The other way we are fertile is, our, is in our capacity to continue evolving spiritually within ourselves. We can change, grow, expand, and continue to reach new levels of personal mastery. 
We will be using We will be using sigil, sigil shoal work and ritual art to work a personal long-term transformational ritual for this using the symbolism of nesting dolls. This is a powerful rit ritual that incorporates some more advanced magical skills. Before you embark on on that work, watch the deep dive gathering. Okay, so that's interesting because usually she, I think she kind of likes you to dive and dive into it yourself and like get more like get a better understanding and kind of at least attempt to work with the materials but she's saying um to watch the deep dive gathering first so that's really cool i'm sure she'll have dog i'm sure she'll, she'll have i'm sure she will have some good information for us so that's very very cool very excited i love the witch's box you can go check them out and subscribe down below it's obviously like i know a lot of people say it's like really expensive but honestly like i love I love the things you get in it and the deep dive gathering, like being able to commune with other witches and with the creator herself is just an amazing, like an amazing extra thing. Hi, Moby. My tortoise is coming to see us. Maybe you'll get to see him. So very, very cool. I'm so excited. Hi. You wanna see him? Come here. Oh, you're nice and warm. Oh my gosh, my butt's asleep. Don't bite me. That was ladylike, huh? Watch this. <laughs> Moby! My tortoise. He's my Sokata tortoise. I love him. He's gonna get to like, <laughs> his foot's in my hair. He's gonna get to like, oh God. <laughs> like a few hundred pounds or something like that. So, excited. He's my buddy. But yes, very cool. Love the witch's box definitely like it's very different actually from um the other boxes that i'm subscribed to in terms of kind of just the vibes and it's a, it seems more of like a tradition a lot more traditional witchcraft oh my gosh don't bite me oh my okay go that way okay yeah a lot more traditional and i love how she like really goes in depth with um Oh gosh, did I hit something? Goes in depth with the magic and the rituals and everything she involves. Oh my gosh, dude. Go that way. They're heavy. So I'm very curious, maybe I, oh, I'm sure it's actually part of the ritual. That's probably what it is. Like these little pieces of floral paper, which is so funny because if you see, my oh god, he's gonna like come and bite my leg. If you see my, my last unboxing of the witches moon, dude. He's bulldozing through everything. But my last witches moon unboxing, which I'll put right here, I think. Um, really, it's like seriously trying to eat this box, and my whole leg is asleep. So sorry if that was not ladylike. So yeah, very cool. I love it. Thank you so much, Elena. I'm like super excited, especially that aura spray. I love that and like cannot wait to like dive deeper into the fertility spell. Like that seems really cool. And my life is just so full of abundance right now and blessings that I am, it's very, it's a great time for that. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't heard um, or seen my last February side-by-side -side video of all my subscription boxes, I'll link that somewhere up here as well and then down in the description but it has the giveaway included so go check that out enter the giveaway it ends on the 9th of march so you still have some time um and then also if you're interested in participating in my astara ritual in the premiere please go to the tiny cauldron and pick up your fairy attraction kit it is on sale right now and i also have a 15 percent off coupon with the code b um so go check that out grab the kit hurry up because it's going to be amazing and we're going to do it together and then we're going to chat live and it's going to be so cool so please go do that and i will talk to you all later blessed be bye